Good morning. Good morning. Another warm morning. It's 30 degrees. <laughs> we're just going into the town centre. And when Jill says the town centre, you don't know which town we're at, so we're in Broome. We're still in Broome. Last time uh, we saw you, we just left the Gibb River Road and we ended up doing two nights, or well, three nights, I think, in Derby, where we spent almost the entire time trying to clean the red dirt off the caravan and the cars. We haven't succeeded yet. No, my goodness, <laughs> they were quite, everything you touched, everything you touched on the caravan on the outside and the car on the outside, and the and red you, dirt. And clothes as well. The clothes, the everything. Shoes. Yeah. Oh, there was very little red dirt on the inside, other than that which we brought in from our shoes, etc. But other than that, the outside was just literally covered in red dirt. So yeah, three three days in Derby, and then we've been in Broome for just over a week now. So, Jill, what do you think of Broome? Well, we can tick that box. We've been here, done that. I don't care if I don't come back again. <laughs> There's some nice beaches, but I wasn't impressed with Cable Beach, which is the most famous one. The camels were nice to see. No, I'm not going on a camel. I've been on a camel before. I don't have a desire to go on a camel on Cable Beach. But anyway, we've we've enjoyed this time here, except it's been hot. <laughs> it's very hot. We're staying at a place called the Brooms Gateway Caravan Park, which is about 25, 30 kilometres outside of Broome. We couldn't get into any of the caravan parks in Broome because they were all full. So, yeah. Rooms Gateway Caravan Park. It's actually quite a nice park. So, Jill doesn't like Room or is not overly impressed. I quite like it, but you can make up your own mind. I'm going to show you some footage now of our time in Room, and hopefully you can make up your own mind whether Room is a nice place to visit or not. It's not the same as actually being here in person to make that decision, though. All right, we'll see you soon. Bye. So it was too hot on the beach, so we've come to Matzo's Brewery, micro brewery. And there's a lot of shade, and it's a brewery. Although I'm driving, so it won't be much use to me. This way, Jill.
So, what do you think of it, Jill? Is it better than you thought? No, I haven't changed my opinion of blue. I've been here, ticked that box. So I'm quite happy to move on. Quite happy to move on? Yes. So the footage that we've just seen of all the spectacular beaches and the beautiful ocean oh, and such yeah. like, doesn't mean anything to you? The Indian Ocean is absolutely beautiful. I'm sure we could view it somewhere else, not in Peru. <laughs> well, we can and we will do. We'll be viewing it all the way down the Western Australian coast. Exactly. I'm sure I'll find somewhere I prefer to Peru. Well, it's got a Coles and a Woolworth. What more do you want? It's even got some op shops. I've seen one. Oh, well, I've seen two, so there. I haven't told you about them all. Well, there you are. You haven't took me to the second one. <laughs> right, so... We'll be leaving here in a couple of days' time, but today is one of the two days in the month of August when the staircase to the moon phenomenon is going to be visible at Roebuck Bay. So we're going to go down to Town Beach, which overlooks Roebuck Bay, and uh, hopefully we'll get to see this uh, phenomenon that everybody raves about, staircase to the moon. With everybody else, there's <laughs> going to be a lot of people there, I believe. Yeah. A lot of people. Yeah, very, very busy. So. We'll hopefully show you some of that footage, and if not, we'll just show you some random footage from something else. <laughs> that won't make sense. <laughs>we left Barnhill station this morning and we've been driving south now on the Great Northern Highway for about four hours uh, and we've pulled into this pit stop for lunch uh, 
so it's just me, Jill, Colin Bridget and lots of flies. <laughs> and yeah, we're on our way to Pardew Station, hopefully we'll be there in about an hour and uh, we'll probably talk to you again once we get there. This is Pardew Station. Apparently it was wiped out by a cyclone about 18 months ago and they're still working on repairing it. So it looks pretty good. We're just staying here a few days. Four nights in fact. And we're going to <laughs> boil. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We went down to see the sea, but we couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've hit this region, the Pil I think we've hit the Pilbara region when they're having the hottest winter on record. So every day is 37, 38 degrees. It really is stinking hot. But the good point about this place is there is a swimming, swimming pool. It still loves. No. Not. <laughs> This is the reception area in the store, although I think the store's taking it a bit too far. There's not that much there. And there's one big cow here, and that's the only cow I've seen while we've been here. Although I think it's a heck of a big place, this station. So I don't suppose we would see the cows, they're in a different area. We've come down to Pardew Beach to cool down. I'm not sure it's any cooler here. We might as well be in caravan air aircon. <laughs> anyway, Ali and Giz are very happy. They've had a run around. This is not a kind of beach you think of as a beach. But I can imagine this has been like this for a long, 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 long time. Millions of years. It's very hot. There's a wind, but it's not very cooling. And the sun's burning my leg as well. <laughs> anyway, we can get back in the car and the air conditioning now. Okay, so right, we're in the middle of, as Bridget says, we're in the middle of BFN. And one of the advantages, one of the mod cons is we've got icy pops and a cold beer. Good morning. Good morning. We're just leaving Pardew Station. It's a bit of a relief, really, because it's been so hot. 
and it's just surround you're just surrounded by the red dirt again because you're in the outback so you can't expect anything else anyway we're moving south and so hopefully when we get to port headland it will be a bit cooler and we'll have a bit more opportunity to go to places yeah it was 39 degrees cool. yesterday and uh, we were just stuck inside the caravan we didn't want to go out it was horrible really it was that hot and as jill said it's just red dirt there was nothing to see or do because you were stuck inside we went down to the beaches there's two beaches which you've which seen you on the footage down, already you've seen all that yeah. but they're not beaches and they're not <laughs> uh, you feel like you've just wasted your time going actually so part of the station was smashed by the cyclone uh cyclone isla i believe 18 months ago and they're still recovering from it um, so we've been we've done our bit to the local community in the pilbara region i don't think we'll go back there again anytime soon no but they work they look like they've worked hard to get it uh recovered from the cyclone anyhow Port Hedland now, and the good thing about Port Hedland is there is a liquor land. I can top up on my beer. <laughs> and there's a supermarket, we can top up on food as well, which is more essential. Catch you later. Bye. My goodness, it's hot. It's a bit hot for me. You can tolerate the heat normally more than me, but I think you're struggling as well. Yeah, yeah I've struggled. 38 degrees today, topping out, topping out at 39. So we're in uh, what's known as Australia's heat basket, the Pilbara region. Um, and in all honesty, we've struggled with this video to try to put something together. Yeah, because we've just tried to keep out of the heat a lot. We have managed a few things, so we've gone down to the port and that was a bit cooler, wasn't it? Yeah. So, <laughs> apologies if it's a bit bitty, apologies if it's been a long time coming. But um, as you can see from this little map overlay, we've gone from Broome all the way down to Port Hedland. Uh, we're leaving Port Hedland tomorrow and eventually we're going to arrive this coming week in Caratha. But we don't know if it'll be any cooler. <laughs> we don't know if it'll be any cooler. <laughs> Well, it'll be a different place. See you then, so, and don't forget. Please like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment. Yeah.